Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio. So today, I'm doing that thing where I'm answering questions. I get a lot of questions on YouTube, on Twitter, all over the place. Thank you, by the way, to anyone that ever takes time out of their day to get in touch with me. You guys are awesome. I don't always have time to answer every question personally. I'm really sorry. I do get a lot of questions, but I really, really do appreciate you guys all taking the time to... Get in touch with me, ask questions, send nice thoughts, offer help, give me information I may or may not already have. Anyone that takes time out of their day to do any of that is an awesome person, and I thank you very much for it. But there is one question that I have started to get pretty regularly over the past couple of weeks, and it is, Wossy, which set do I invest in? Like, if I'm going to be collecting a set, I cannot be collecting every set right now. It's too much. There's too much going on. If I have to pick one of these sets to go about and actually start getting a little collection rolling, should I go for Evolving Skies, Celebrations, or Fusion Strike? And I thought, you know what? I've had that question a few times now, and I think this makes a pretty interesting video. Now, Evolving Skies is the main set which just came out. It's one with Rayquaza and Duraludon and all the evolutions. Fusion Strike is the next main set, which is coming out in November. And Celebrations is the special 25th anniversary, well, celebration set, as the name might imply, which is going to be coming out in October time. And I know that we're not all rich. I very much am not rich. Would like to be. That'd be awesome. But I'm not. Boo! So, for me, I'm going to be picking up a few things here and there, mostly to do openings for the channels, and then picking up singles of cards I really have to have. But I know some people, what they want to do is try and build up a collection of one particular set. So that's kind of the question we're asking in this video. For me, I want to pick up a little bit of all of it. I am focusing mostly on free pack blisters for Evolving Skies, because even though the last opening was horrendous... I still have faith, and I've had good luck from some of them. And I finally opened a you know, special art card, so that was cool. For Fusion Strike, I'm going to largely do the same thing. And for Celebrations, I'm going to get everything, because I'm an old-school Pokemon nerd. But what should you guys do? Well, let's go through the pros and cons. Starting off straight away, Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies is a great, great set to collect. Now, I know it's a very, very large set. But there are a lot of secret rares. Now, that's both a good and a bad thing, depending how you look at it. If you want to be able to spend not a lot of money and complete the set, then, then no, that's not a good thing at all. If you want to be able to build an impressive collection that other people can't build, then Evolving Skies is great. Because very few people are going to complete Evolving Skies. It's just not realistic for the vast majority of people i'm telling you now there is absolutely no way whatsoever i have the budget to even attempt a complete collection of evolving skies and i'm not even going to try because it's not even close but the thing is Evolving skies have a bunch of cards which are basically guaranteed to be super popular in future so we've got alternate arts of umbreon v and umbreon v max we're talking amongst the most popular pokemon out there and these are beautiful cards. They're going to be hyper popular. I could say the exact same thing about Rayquaza VMAX. A superbly popular Pokemon. Always has been. Has an alternate art V and a VMAX. And Sylveon's really gosh darn popular as well. And that's got an alternate art V and VMAX. And all of these are going to be cards which are going to hold value in the future. Now, when the set first came out, they were all stupid prices. They've now started to come down to a reasonable price, but give it 10, 15, 20 years when this set is long in the rearview mirror, and my kids are grown up and that's a terrifying thought, well, these cards are going to be hard to get hold of, but they're still going to be absolutely stunning cards of very popular Pokemon. So when you're looking at high-end cards for collectors, Evolving Skies, I mean, I've only just given you six examples. They are cards which are going to be very, very popular moving forward. I mean, of course, we've got all the Evolutions. although do remember the Gen 1 EVs only have the full arts in the set in terms of the Vs, and they only have the regular Maxes because the special arts have been taken out. And the regular arts are going into tins of the Vs. So the special arts for those aren't in the set. Do please be aware of that. 
but there are a bunch of evolutions in this set that are getting a whole bunch of special arts and it really is for me the special arts in evolving skies is going to set this set apart i know it's very trendy at the moment to be like well you know it's not that good a set it's too big blah 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 no no no. trust me on this one this is a very good set and the special arts at least in this set are going to be extremely popular in the future it is a great set for that and let's not forget, it's still got Vs and V Maxes of the Evolutions, and it's got a bunch of Rayquaza cards. There's a bunch of cool stuff in it, but certainly at the higher end of collectability, Evolving Skies is absolutely a set worth investing in. It has got the most impressive secret rare cards we've had for a long time. And these are cards which are going to retain their value and luster in the future. And that's the argument for Evolving Skies. Yes, it's a very big set, Yes, the pull rates for these secret rares are inevitably not that great. No, there is absolutely no reason you should expect to pull one. Even if you buy a booster box, you might not get an alternate art. Even if you get an alternate art, it might not be one of the ones you really want. But it's something to bear in mind. And like I say, as the set is now, you know, out there, it's a decent time to start buying singles. And they almost certainly will go up in future. Although, again, I'm just giving you my thoughts and advice. I am not telling you what to do or giving you financial future planning advice. That would be silly. Now, Fusion Strike. I don't know what to think about Fusion Strike at the moment. We haven't seen enough of the set. We have seen that there is a Mew V Max. And to be blunt, there is going to be an alternate art of the Mew, both the V and the V Max because it's on the booster pack blah 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 it would be silly not to and those two cards are going to be hyper popular but if we look at the other v's and v maxes that have been revealed from fusion strike as it stands at the moment it's not looking amazing like for me personally i desperately want a special art chandelier because i love me some chandelier but Chandelier is not on the same level as a Rayquaza or an Umbreon or anything like that. That's just silly. So the fact of the matter is, in terms of proper high-end alternate arts, you're going to have Mew, but as it stands at the moment, I haven't seen another Pokemon of that level of popularity. The other thing is, there are going to be far fewer, because a lot of the Pokemon Vs and Vmaxes are seemingly, although this is unconfirmed, being brought in from other places. Now, I will say it is actually very likely, although again, this is unconfirmed, but it is likely that the alternate art Gengar V Max will be in the set. It's a weird one because the alternate art in Japan was randomly seeded something like 1 in 10, although we never got confirmation of the number, randomly into Gengar V Max decks. So you'd buy it and have like a 10% chance to get the alternate art. But these kind of things tend to just be put in the set. There is no guarantee that is very much supposition on my part. And Gengar is a very popular Pokemon and is actually drawn by Sao Sao, who is a very popular artist. Okay, fine. But there's going to be far fewer secret rares in Fusion Strike, we think. I've done a video, check the link in the description. It's called something like What's Going On With Fusion Strike. Or just search on the channel. But it looks like there's going to be far fewer secret rares. Even though it's going to end up being the biggest set ever, it looks like there are going to be far fewer secret rares. So it's going to be an easier to complete set. But there's going to be a lot more rares and hollows than there are going to be secret rares compared to previous sets. Now again, we need to see the set list before I can say it was of absolute certainty, but it seems very much like it. Again, we've already had a bunch of things confirmed. Uh, as an example, the Rillaboom and Cinderace V Maxes have been confirmed, but we don't actually have special arts of them. They don't exist. And we generally don't get new ones of these in our sets. So a lot of the Vs and V Maxes coming through are going to be weird promos and such that don't have these secret rares to give us. So it should be an easier set to complete with far fewer secret rares. But I don't see Fusion Strike being as exciting as Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies has all the Eevees and Rayquaza, and it has special arts of some of the most popular Pokemon in the entire Pokemon world. Fusion Strike has Mew probably Gengar but unconfirmed, and far fewer secret rares. So if you want to complete a set, Fusion Strike is probably far more likely than Evolving Skies. But if you're looking for really high-end cards that are going to be super popular in the future, yeah, Mew and Gengar, 
But other than that, I think of all these guys is going to be the better option. And then that brings us to celebrations. Now, remember, you cannot buy booster packs and booster boxes of celebrations. Celebrations is a series of products, and you can only buy celebrations packs in celebrations products also very important to note that all of these products don't just come with celebrations packs they also come with regular packs which is actually kind of annoying but there's nothing we can really do about it so we carry on with our day and i think if you're just a casual fan picking up a few packs here and there I think Celebrations is the one to go for. Now, again, we don't have the complete list, but we know that Celebrations is a mixture of regular cards, and we've seen things like Mew, for instance. Uh, and there's a new Groudon that looks pretty cool. There's a new Lugia. You know, generally pretty popular Pokemon. And then this extra set. Now, there is a giant caveat on this discussion. And the giant caveat is we don't know what the pull rate is for this special set. We've not been given numbers. We have no idea. We know in Japan you buy four packs of the main set. You get one extra pack. And this extra pack has exactly one card. And that will be a special card. Something like base set Venusaur or Team Magma's Groudon, or Shining Magikarp, or, you know, really cool iconic cards from the past, reprinted in this fancy shiny version. We do not know what the pull rates are going to be here. If the pull rates are super low, that will change my advice. But you're talking a small main set, and a 25 card mini set, so the main set especially is going to be pretty easy to complete, and the mini set if the pull rates aren't horrendous, won't be terrible. We know there's going to be a reprint of Charizard, the base one, the original Charizard. We've not seen that one yet, unfortunately. But, you know, look at base set Venusaur in a new style. Look at base set Charizard. Now you know what it's going to look like. And obviously that one is going to be super hyper popular. And there'll probably be a couple of others. But it's not going to be quite on the level of something like an Evolving Skies, as long as the pull rate for this extra set is not that bad. And if the pull rates are not that bad, you're going to be pulling these super fancy, old school, brilliant, shiny, whatever you want to call them cards. Shiny as in glittery, not shiny as in shiny Pokemon. And you're going to be getting them pretty regularly, and that's going to be fun. It's a set, especially the main set, which is going to be small enough to actually complete. And I think if you're just buying random packs here and there, this is the way to go. I think in the same way that Shining Fates was recently, if you just want to buy a random product of a few random packs, Shining Fates was always the best, well, at least in the past you know, year or so, this was the best way to go. Because the pull rates on things like the Shiny Pokemon were pretty high. There was lots of really cool stuff in the set. So you were more likely to pull something cool. Whereas you can buy many, many packs of something like Evolving Skies and presumably when it comes out Fusion Strike and actually not end up getting the cards, you know, any real cards you want. I did an opening on this channel the other day of two free pack blisters for Evolving Skies and goodness me, the pulls were absolute trash garbage. Three of my six rares were just Smeargle. non holo rare Smeargle. Wasn't fun, ladies and gentlemen. It wasn't fun. So to round it up then, if you are looking for a really nice set to collect with some proper high value cards, even though it's a little bit big and can be a bit of a pain to get what you want, Evolving Skies is the one you should be focusing on. If you're looking for a main set like that, but is easier to collect with fewer secret rares, not confirmed but very likely, Fusion Strike is the one to go for. And if you're just buying a few packs here and there and you're just trying to find something cool, Celebrations is the way to go. There is every possibility that Celebrations becomes a very popular set in the future, but do remember Celebrations is a very popular set now, so the amount of people collecting it and stashing it and grading the cards will be very, very high. So that is something you need to bear in mind if you're thinking future value. Celebrations might be printed, I hope it is, to the point where that is less of a concern. Although there will always be those few money cards like probably Charizard that will buck the trend. 
So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the set that's just come out. The next proper set and the next mini special, call it what you will, set. I've had a bunch of people get in touch with me lately asking which of those three they should be collecting because they can only really go into one. And hopefully that's answered your question. The goal in this video was never to say, everyone go and get this set because that's not the way it works. It depends on who you are as a collector, what you're into, what you're excited about. But I tell you something for nothing, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of cool stuff coming, and I, for one, am delighted. But I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.